good morning. Happy Bank Holiday Monday, day 85 for me. Right, yes, the my party yesterday. Uh, oh, can I just say before, the post I did a couple of days ago, the video about gratitude, how much I loved, just loved reading all your reasons why you were grateful. It, it was just ace, honestly. The, that, they were just perfect because it wasn't just the obvious and it was marvellous. So we need to do that every day. But anyway, back to the party yesterday. My alcohol-free, um, I forget what the word is that you say afterwards, appraisal of the situation. <laughs> right, so I was looking forward to it and I had a lovely time. But I've got to be honest, right, don't all berate me <laughs> and shoot me because it's still a learning process. So I did have a great time, it was lovely, and I felt great, and it was lovely to see everybody. But in the moment, uh, probably about an hour or two in, and we were sat and we'd eaten and everybody was drinking, I said to Simon, I said, you know, I've got to be honest, I'd rather be drinking now. I really would well, all go, ooh, God. But, you know, I've just got to be honest, because I think if you acknowledge your feelings honestly, that's how you learn from them. And I would, and I'm not mad at myself, but I would rather have been drinking because I think I would have had more fun. And before you have a go, that's my perception. So let me just continue. <laughs> Not that you can interrupt. I don't know why I'm acting like you can. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Sally, at your age. Or well, maybe not. <laughs> so, yeah, it was great. And I enjoyed it. And I was having, I had um, fizzy water. And I ate it, I'd just shove it in a glass. No ice, you've got to ask for ice and then a bit of lemon. Why do they serve it crappily? Because you, you know, you're still paying £2.50 for a fizzy water. But anyway, two minutes in and I've not got to my point. It was, uh, I did, I really enjoyed it. And it was odd because my mum drinks, quite a lot of people drink quite a bit. And my mum, when I got there, she had a big glass of red. And then I literally saw a bit later with a, one of those big gin and tonics, you know, they do them in the goldfish bowls. And then she had another glass of red and I could see, and I was looking at her because we're very similar, me and my mum. And she's, um, you know, she's in the 70s, but she doesn't look it. Not that I'm similar to that, but, you know, just in mannerisms and everything. And I was looking at thinking, God, that'd be me. I'd be on the probably third, fourth glass of wine a few hours in. I'd be talking shit, but I'd be having a better time. I'd be having a better time. But... The realisation that I'm learning and that I'm really not struggling with, but I'm just being patient with, is that I perceive that I'd be having a better time because I've only got the memory of what it was like when I was slightly inebriated. So I actually don't think I would have a better time. I've just got to get used to not feeling like that. And it was really interesting. I said to Simon, he was sat next to me, I said, is it a I'm sorry if it's a bit boring, so it was a big family do, and my son had come up from London. He says, it's not Sally, it's fine. He says, the thing is, this is how I fix He always drives, I'm always one who's drinking. He says, this is what they're normally like. And he says, and it's good. And I was a bit more quiet than normal, not really quiet. And I just, so I, I know I've got to, it's a learning curve, and I'm asking the people who've done more, do you get used to that? Do you start to learn how to engage more being alcohol free and not because I did engage, you know, I had a laugh, but you don't have that feeling of free abandonment or you, at least you don't think you do. I don't know if this is making any sense. Whereas when you're having a drink, you say, oh yeah, I'll have another drink please. Sally, do you want a drink? Yeah, I'll have a large white. And you're finishing your other one off and you're chatting to them and da da da. You know, and you're almost a bit hyper, then your other drink comes and and you're the last to leave, where I was noticing yesterday, it got to about half eight, and I just wanted to get home and watch Line of Duty. And I felt self-conscious that I wanted to leave. And I felt a bit guilty when we got home, and my son's 22, and my other one's 18, and Ben was a bit, you know, the eldest one. He said, oh, I thought we maybe had gone into town, and it's a bit... And I felt responsible that I was bringing the mood down because I wasn't pissed. And my usual knobhead, come on, self. But then... Along with that comes the shit me that doesn't give a shit me and the talk shit me and the fuck it me and the argumentative me and the I can't remember what happened last night me and yeah it was great me but it's actually fake me and so is all that 
worth just actually coming to terms with it. I, I don't think I'm making any sense. I really don't. I don't even watch this back. <laughs> but I, sat, I was sat on the sofa last night and I just thought, yeah, I would be very different now if I'd have been drinking. But I'm actually, it's not enough to put me off carry on sort of carrying on doing it, or the thought that I might carry on because I think I need to just practice is that true do I just need more practice because I've not per I've not purpose not gone out I've just not gone out a lot so I need more practice in situations like that to really feel the benefits I'm hoping so anyway so I didn't really enjoy it I wasn't life and soul even my cousin who I've not seen for years at the end goes bloody hell Sally what are you doing you're not stopping for you know you go in and I genuinely wanted to go, whereas if I'd have been drinking, I'd have been there, my husband had been waiting, come on. My eldest son would have loved having drinks with me. But yeah, so I feel like I was a bit of a rubbish version of myself as far as others are concerned. But I think as far as I'm concerned, I think I might get used to it. I hope I do. I don't know. It shows that I'm obviously thinking about 90 days and beyond. Otherwise, I'd be going, right, yeah, next week I'll be back on it. I don't know yet. I've not decided. Well, I've, I can't decide because I don't know. So I'm waffling. 6.26 of waffle. I feel I've not even come up with anything remotely productive for everybody today. I'm just thinking aloud. I should have thought aloud before I did the video and then come up with something useful, <laughs> like 20 press-ups. So if that makes sense... I hope it does, but if it doesn't, just fast forward. Right, I open this. Value wisdom. Now is the time to value wisdom. Don't underestimate the value of knowledge, yours or others. Seek out those who've been there. Ask them what they've learned and listen to them. Distill their wisdom and apply it to your journey. How true is that on this page? All the people, the 365 heroes, the 90 days, the people who keep doing day one. We've got something to learn from all of them. So don't poo-poo them if they don't fit your journey. You know, absorb it and learn and apply it to yourself because we are all different. There is no right or wrong. Well, I believe that anyway. And so, oh my God, seven and a half minutes. And the last little bit, the years teach much which the days never knew. God, I love that. I've only just realised how much. The years teach much, which the days never knew. So if I was only going to get out, what I think about that immediately, if I was only going to give alcohol up for the odd day or two, I'm never going to learn what giving alcohol up for a long time would do. And do you know what? I'm learning that now because I'm approaching 90 days. And so that's why I tell you, please, please, if you're struggling, just don't deny yourself the chance because I'm learning. Sometimes I don't like what I'm learning because I'm thinking, is this it? But I'm willing, I need to keep going through the process because I'm trusting it. I'm trusting it and you must trust it too. So the years teach much, which the days never knew. God, that's made me go all goosebumps. I'm off. Have a great day. Eight and a half minutes. How many of you, right, I'm going to do a test. How many of you watched to the end? I want you to... Tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Chara. <laughs> Don't mean to be rude. It's just a joke. How many fingers? How many fingers? Say it. Just see if you've watched to the end. Cheerio. Bye.